Hey guys, my name is Prayer, and I am joined tonight by Evie and Ileana, and we are going to talk about and kind of explain getting started on the SimCraft, uh, which uh, SimCraft for Minecraft, a uh, survival server, not a hardcore or PvP server, but just a basic survival server set up on uh, normal. And let's take a look around just to get started. Uh, by the way, like I said, this is Evie, and this Hello. is Eliana. Eliana's got a nice little uh, wizard hat on. We do have the hats mod running on the server. And she's got, what do you got there, a pickaxe? Yeah, that's my pickaxe. Uh, Three-dimensional model, not just like your standard uh, iron pickaxe out of vanilla. One of my favorite things to uh, say, yeah, I like this pickaxe. And better there's, than diamond, and yeah. awesome for mining. There's a diamond pickaxe, which actually looks pretty cool. Um, and this is the steel pickaxe, which looks really cool. It's, to our best guess, we don't have the numbers exactly, but to our guess, uh, this is about twice the durability of what a diamond pickaxe is. And it looks really cool, too. Uh, you can be part of the SimCraft mod, and you can only make it with the SimCraft mod. That's exactly right. Kind of like, awesome. kind of like my sword there. You can't really see it too much. Let me go back into an F5 here, so you guys can kind of see my sword. There we go. That's my steel sword. Again, another little 3D model. That's pretty cool. And if you block with it, it makes a ching sound. All right, uh, we are on top of Ileana's roof. If you notice the bricks, the fencing, uh, some of the trees, she's got some little planters or something going on right here. All this is is the SimCraft texture pack along with a vanilla texture pack or uh, a texture pack that replaces vanilla that goes along with the SimCraft mod. So. You've got two different uh, uh, texture packs loaded in here, one for SimCraft and one for Vanilla that kind of ties it all together. So as you see us go through here, what you're going to see is some really cool colors, some neat designs and features and stuff. Uh, this is our bedroom. If you notice here, the windows. Again, another SimCraft uh, feature, another SimCraft texture, which really is really cool. There's about 10 or 12 different window models. Um, they're actually, let me see if I can find them in the book. Here is it. Woodworking, where those are at. Just kind of show you real quick, and then we'll cover these in later videos as well. Like for the doors, there's some different door types right there that you guys can see. Some chairs, tables. Um, and let me see if I can find the, I guess the windows are in that one. Anyway, um, more textures. As we're walking through here, there's a bed. That noise you guys are hearing is blocking with that steel sword. Here's your ground floor. Uh, remember I said something about a texture pack for vanilla. This is actually doesn't come from the SimCraft textures. This is actually coming from another texture pack that the developer had written to kind of augment uh, the SimCraft. So it kind of ties all in together. Uh, notice the chest. It's not your typical vanilla looking chest. Uh, table and chairs. Hey, mister. Get out of that chair. We're working here. Uh, over here, we have got her little uh, uh, workstations. And if you look, this is um, Gabbro Stone, another uh, SimCraft uh, stone. There's going to be uh, several different stone types that are going to be different. About 50 different uh, SimCraft ores uh, that you're going to run into. About 37 different trees that you're going to run into all different from vanilla. So one of the things I like to do, or like to say whenever I do my ads out there, is when you're tired of too much vanilla in your Minecraft, uh, you need to come to SimCraft. There's not very much vanilla left in this, <laughs> is there? Not oh. really, no. Uh, let's see here. All right. We should come in uh, here. Oh yeah? Over here? Okay, yeah. So here is some of the workstations that you can get in SimCraft. Here's a basic electronic bench. Uh, looks like she's got an advanced iron working bench or uh, an iron bench. Uh, here's an iron forge right there. 
uh, carpenter's bench right there, and a masonry bench right there. And of course, if you look down in my uh, GUI here, there's the electronics book. Each bench has a corresponding book to it. So there's your electronics. Uh, there's your woodworking bench. Uh, there's just a basic recipes. That's kind of one of the first books you want to try to make. We'll talk more about that. And in the description, I'm going to put a link uh, to the wiki that's getting started in SimCraft. It's a great step-by-step -step, um, guide to get you started and kind of get your feet wet because it can be really overwhelming. These guys have been here on the server uh, for about four or five days. And, I mean, if you jump in and you're not too afraid of it, I mean, look where Eliana's at already, and uh, and Evie's right behind her with all that kind of uh, stuff set up. He's actually got a little bit more set up on his um, as far as the advanced benches and stuff goes. Uh, some of the torches and things, too. Uh, or, shade, or an ore pan over here, kind of like uh, it's a step in, in getting down to your ingots and, and sheets and dusts and stuff, too, which I'll cover in later videos. Um, would it be a good idea to tell them what the ore pan's used for? Um, yeah, in a later video, I'm kind of going to go into descriptions of each process and ha what each uh, tool does and stuff like that. This is basically just kind of one of those getting started or familiarity kind of videos to build some interest in the uh, in the mod. We'd love for you guys to come over and check out the server. Um, I'm actually one of the admins on the server. I'm here most of the time. I'm here to answer questions, help you guys get started, uh, whatever I can do to help you. And I know Eliana... And Evie both will be more than happy to help you get started. Um, Ileana, you want to tell us a little bit about your garden here? It looks really nice. This is my SimCraft garden. All the flowers that you see are from SimCraft. And over this way is basically where all my food and stuff is, as well as the different trees with different fruits on it. This one gives you avocado fruits. This one gives you pears. And then, of course, we have our wheat and our carrots over here. Okay. These carrots. are just the vanilla ones. Okay. You can actually see the carrots coming out of the ground right there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the uh they're almost ready to harvest. Okay. There you go. Here's okay. your pony. Here's some carrots for you. Where'd you go? Thank you. There you go. All right, and we have some cotton as well which is part of the, this cotton is part of the SimCraft mod, as well as the hops, which gives you the ability to make different types of ale and wines and things like that. Right, and the fermenter. And there's a link on the uh, the wiki that breaks down some of the recipes. And as far as the fermenter goes, um, it's another machine that you can use. I'll cover the machines uh, individually with more detail later. Yep. Some of the other and videos. corn, of course, okay. which can give you some more recipes to eat. And then we have oats. I haven't learned yet what these recipe, what you can do with all of these different fruits and vegetables and things yet. I still have to learn that because um, I only started a few days ago. Wow, and a few I, days ago, and you got all this already done. That's awesome. Yeah, didn't take me too long. And the tile that you see on the ground is also part of the SimCraft mod. And then over this way, we have sugarcane. And grapes, which are also part of the SimCraft mod. And we have black grapes, and we have white grapes. And these grapes make it, well, they contribute to the winemaking, right, Prayer? Yeah, they contribute to making wine. They're also used in making um, uh, yeast. You know, you can put the yeast in the, uh, in the fermenter, mix it with distilled water, and you get yeast, which is used later in this distillery long drawn out process again but yeah it's there is there it's a very valuable crop and this is kind of like my gazebo <laughs> it still needs work but the stone some of the stones you see like the vines are part of that or part of the vanilla but they're just to add to it and then you've got the swedish green marble and the connemara marble these are all part of the simcrafts mod pack as well as the table and chairs though a pony isn't really sitting on the chair <laughs> Kind of floating in midair a little bit. Kind of, kind of, kind of off the chair, a little far away there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow, the I flowers look great them. too. The flowers look really good. Oh, I love the SimCraft flowers. I went out and collected all kinds from different biomes, and I put as many as I could in this little garden here with the vines and Swedish marble and stuff. 
be really and then cool I put to, the grapes here for a little bit of privacy. Be really cool to get so, some like. Hay. And I'm hoping the vines will grow down, like this one here, huh? yeah, all the way to the ground. Yeah. On this side over here, and then around the other parts of the garden, and I think it'll make it look really amazing. Very cool. Nice work for a couple of days, right? Not yeah, I'm bad. pretty proud of myself. Yeah, I would be too. You got a lot done. A lot done. I'm gonna find my way back out over here. Uh, I'm gonna take these boots off. I've got on these boots and they like to make me run fast. Should we show off your shop? Yeah, we can go over there. We'll go over to... Look at there. Got my own little sign. How about that? Let's go to Prayer's Landing. Uh, I like your area right over here next to the coast. That's pretty cool. I haven't okay. decided what I'm going to do with that yet. With I'm what? I'm probably going to turn this into an outside garden or something. That'd be cool. Alright, here is kind of the start of Prayer's Landing. And, or Prayer's Dock. It's all prayer, all part of Prayer's Estate. And Lily's was nice enough to build us a nice little walkway here with some lighted torches and stuff like that. That's kind of nice of her. Thank you. Uh, here we have a gate. Look at this. This gate is really cool. It's a gothic iron or gothic steel gate. Another part of the uh, Simcraft texture. Um, looks really cool, doesn't it? Still has the regular door sound, but it still looks really cool. I like it. Uh, I've got a canal built right here. Uh, this is all part of Prayer State. you got a canal right here uh, with my dock whenever shipbuilding comes in. And yes, we are going to have shipbuilding. I'll be able to have my own shipyard right here where I'll be constructing boats, uh, you know, for sale or, or for personal use or whatnot. Um, let's go inside and take a look at this uh, other workshop. I've been on the server a little bit longer than what uh, uh, Evie and, and Ileana have, and so I've had a little bit of head start. We have. Uh, I'm sorry? Um, your voice is cutting out a little bit on... Team speak. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. it's happening, happening on my end too. I okay. just thought it was me. Oh, uh, well, it's on voice. It's on Vox too, so that might have something to do with it. Maybe I'm talking too quietly. Uh, so, like the premium add ons, um, you can add, like, here's a mason bench with a premium add on, the iron bench with a premium add on with the press uh, construction or the uh, carpenter's bench with an add on. So, you know, you can, you, you, you basically start it at one point and then you can keep adding on and adding on. And the more add ons that you have, now these are maxed out at this point, as far as the game goes, there are going to be further add ons later. Um, but at this point, this is where we're maxed out at. Um, it's a three step process to get to this point in, uh, for like, for example, the electronics bench, but I could craft every electronic in the, in the game at this point because I have the bench to be able to do so. Um, basically, also, you've got some other machines in here, and I will cover these later in other videos. Um, so I'm just going to kind of show you guys kind of the machine setup that I've got right here in my shop right now. It is a functioning uh, uh, factory. Um, I can put ore into the uh, crusher right there, takes it up to the shaker. Puts it out on the conveyor, puts it over in the furnace, which is like the um, the furnace in vanilla, melts it or the forge, puts it down into uh, ingots. I can either press them into sheets or rods, and then it puts them over here into these uh, industrial containers. Basically, getting started, um, I said I will put the uh, link in the description for the wink, uh, the wiki as far as getting started. One of the first things that you want to want to build is uh, the workbench. When you log in or when you spawn into the game, um, you're going to have a chance to see some of these workbenches, the carpentry bench, the iron bench, and stuff like that up at the spawn area. Um, I'm not going to go to spawn in this video just for time consuming. Uh, but what you're going to want to do is the book that I've got in my hand is the SimCraft Recipes. The getting started is uh, leading you how to get to this first book. Okay, so this first book. Uh, I don't want to click on that. The first book is going to help you guys with the different benches. It's going to help you with um, uh, some of the first tools. It's going to help you get started with making some of the books. Um, you know, and basically how or what do, what do you need to do in order to kind of get started in the game because it can be a little overwhelming, like I said. Um, but 
that's what I want to cover for right now. I'm not going to go into how to make the bench or anything. Like I said, this is just a quick introductory. Um, this is our first attempt, or my first attempt at making a video. Um, please leave me feedback. Subscribe to the channel because everything that I do is going to be based around SimCraft. All the updates, the latest uh, vehicles, planes, submarines, helicopters, it's all coming, guys. And on my later videos, you'll see all of those things in more detail as they arrive in game. So I want to thank Eliana and Evie for coming and supporting me tonight. And look for our other videos. They will be coming out soon, probably within the next couple of days. I'm going to detail every one of the machines. I'm going to detail some more about getting started. And I will next time uh, bring a video from the spawn area. So that way you guys can actually see where you come into the game at. Thanks for watching and I do appreciate it.